Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to apply the flex direction property to create a column in the tweet embed. The tweet embed header and footer use flex direction property e earlier with a row value. Similarly, the items inside the profile name element would work well stacked as a column. What are they saying? These guys maybe, these two elements. Uh, add the CSS property flex direction to the header's profile name. So the, yeah, this guy, profile name and um, element to set the column, set the value of the column. Uh, so profile name is here. It's uh, a subheading of the, of the header. And so what we want to do is uh, set the uh, flex direction equal to profile name to column. What happened there? Okay, cool. So it's made these become columns, which is better because it looks like that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. If we run the test, that should pass. Cool. Hope this guy, uh, uh, this video is helpful. Um, essentially, what we're doing is we're just uh, designing a tab. The cool thing about this is once you design this element everywhere from <coughs> the header <coughs> down to the footer, you've got um, you can you can run this through an algorithm and then you can just repeat. You can change the way you can just change the the content of this to say something like content, and then this to say like published date, and then you can just make a, a web program exactly like Twitter. Uh, and so um, it's kind of cool. So if we run the test, we can see their pass, and we'll move on to the next lesson. Thanks for watching.